for Valerie. Valerie, who are you? What is your name? Valerie Ferguson. Valerie, come here. Hallelujah. Valerie, your name is Valerie? Yes. Your name is Valerie. Valerie, yes. Valerie. Valerie. Yes. Valerie. He got us somebody the time the Lord tonight. Valerie. The Lord is calling your name right now. Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord said, tell Valerie. He said, it is not over. It is not over. It is not finished. Do you understand? Hallelujah. The thing that the enemy Ooh. wants to declare, finished, over, done with, no yes. good, finished, dry, yes. like, it's yes. not. Yes. Now do you understand? Yes. God said, it is not over. God said, I am the one working in the midst of your life. I have kept you Lord, all Jesus. these years, said the Lord. Mm. And I have kept your family, says the Lord. Yes. And God said to tell you the shaft. The shaft is like a plank that the enemy has split in two. It's, it was supposed to be like a bridge over to the other side. This is like supposed to be a, a shaft. It's supposed to be like, as I'm seeing it like a plank. It was supposed to be a bridge in between. To take you all over to the other side. But it was like the enemy broke something. In your family, said the Lord. And caused like an interruption in the season in your life when you both should have been flying. Oh, Jesus. Am I talking to you, Mama? Hallelujah. But the Lord said to tell you tonight, it's not over. Where's your husband? Thank you. Where's Jesus. your husband? I don't, I'm not married. You don't have a husband. No, no. You are never married in never your whole married, life. Never. Where are your children? They are home in Exuma. Where is the father of those children? Um, couple, two of them are died. But mm -hmm. one of them is living? Yes. Now, let me tell you why I ask you where your husband. You see the church went like this? I want to tell you why I ask you. Because the, the thing that the, <laughs> that the Lord sent to bless you was taken away from you. Are you listening to me? Yes, I'm listening. And you were promised you, you were supposed to marry one of those men. And it was taken away from you. Are you hearing? Yes. So the shaft was broken. Mm. But God said to tell you, even though this thing was broken in your life, it is not the end of your life. It was not the end of your story, said the Lord. For the Lord thy God has kept you. And I ask you, where, was, where is your husband? Because you were supposed to have married one of them. Hallelujah. Jesus. One of them. Like the second one. The second one. This one has made promises to you. And he had told you, I am going to work some things out. But don't worry. I am going to marry you. Am I talking to you, mama? Yes. But I'm looking at this woman. And she has interrupted the cycle for your life. Now, her power's backfired. You don't have him. She don't have him. But God said, tell Valerie, Hallelujah. it's not over oh. for her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your better days Jesus. are before you. Hallelujah. Your what? Better days ah. are before you. Thank you. And God said, you have been well taken care of. Even your children have now rise up and call you blessed, Hallelujah. says the Lord. Yes. They have Hallelujah. risen up and called you blessed. Yes. And I'm even looking at a young, I'm looking at this person on a boat. Like they're on like a boat of some sort. And I don't know if they are, I don't know if, they are, if this boat is for pleasure or if this boat is for like, you know, like tourists or whatever reason. But I'm seeing this person that's, that, that is on this boat and I'm seeing this person coming to be a blessing to you. Now we will be done, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
coming to be a blessing to you, said the Lord. And God said, I'm restructuring and reordering your life, mama. You know your house is like a lighthouse. Your house is like a lighthouse. Can I tell you why I'm seeing your house like a lighthouse? Because you offer like hope to even everyone in the community. Almost like, I don't want to call you a nurse. But I'm saying like you offer hope to everybody in the community. The old and the young. Am I talking to you, mama? Your prayer is beaming through your window on the eastern side. And as your prayers are going through the window, the Lord said, tell her, tell Valerie, I am hearing your prayer. And, oh God. It's not over for you. It's not over for you. It's not over for you. Somebody, I am seeing this person on a boat. And they are going to be a blessing to you. I don't want to put my foot in my mouth. (laughs) You know, mama could be 15, she could be 19. I don't want to put my foot. But all I know is when Sarah laughed behind the tent, she was laughing because she did not know Jehovah God. She did not know that he would have been Jireh for her that year. You are not suffering, mama. You are not suffering. But there's a surprise that God is going to give to you. That God is going to do for you. Because somebody came and break a shaft. Thank you. Lord said, I must give you this word. Gather the people to pray. Gather the women to pray, said the Lord. Gather the women to pray. Gather the women to pray. pray. Are you hearing? This is like a burden to you, like a passion. Am I talking? He said, gather them to pray. And as you gather them to pray, you shall see this thing will begin to flow out into the whole community, into the whole area. I don't know what church you go to. I don't even care. But I believe just as God had raised up, praise God, Anna, in the temple, praise God. Even so, the Lord said, I am raising you. <laughs> Somebody help give the Lord a praise. Thank you so much for watching Transforming Lives TV with Apostle Edison and Prophetess Maddie Nottage. Feel free to visit us at Believer's Faith Outreach Ministries International, Carmichael Road West, opposite John Shane No. 8, for one of our powerful life-changing services, each Tuesday and Friday night at 7.30 p.m. and Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Bring your entire family. You will be glad you did. God bless you. Till next time, we love you.